Yo, what's going on my print peeps? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with Diversity Print. And uh, today we're just gonna do a real quick, just in case you didn't get instructions with yours, because I don't see any instructions with mine. I see like two little instructions, but I think they're just for those two pieces. But we're gonna, we're gonna open everything up and see, make sure we got everything. And then we're just gonna wing it. I don't know. Maybe the instructions are one of those legs or something like that. Also, I don't, I don't see the the basket, the cloth basket. I think it's cloth for the paper holder. So hopefully it's maybe in one of those tubes or something like that. Anyway, this is for the Epson SC F570 die sublimation printer, and that is this one right here. Um, so right now we're gonna go ahead and. We got all the parts separated and we're going to go through them all and uh, go step by step real quick. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so let's go over everything real quick. Okay, cool. This is the actual bar with the... Uh, the cloth uh, built into it, the, uh, the net, the holder. Okay, I thought it was just the bar itself. Uh, I'm a little more relieved now. So uh, it looks like we got everything so far. So uh, let's keep on packing and uh, we'll get to the assembly here in a second. We got our Allen key, but uh, I got my own Allen wrench set. Uh, once you get a set of these bad boys right here, uh, those are a joke. Get you some of these, it'll save your, it'll, well, it won't save your life, but it'll save your life as far as time and, and sweat and tears, uh, a whole bunch. Okay. All right, so we got 24 screws, which means I assume that these are the thumb screws they're talking about. So that uh, when you put the when you set the printer on top of these uh, support braces, these are the thumb screws to screw into the bottom of the printer. So thankfully for that, otherwise we would have to use these type of screws. So hopefully your printer comes with these already uh, attached. They have blue tape. I'll tell you what, as far as packaging, they put that blue uh, tape all over the place to make sure it's secure and nothing falls out and, and everything. So uh, I give a big ups to Epson for their packaging skills. Uh, using high quality uh, cardboard as their, as their shipping materials it is, uh, if you ever seen my images on Instagram and stuff like that for the vinyl cutter stand that I got it was a great idea the way they packed it, but the box was just not sturdy uh, enough. So, um, you know, invest a little bit, just add it into the price. I'd rather get something that's packaged nice than it's just thrown all over the box and damaged and scratched. So, anyway, let's get started and see uh, what's next. All right, so that Allen wrench we're using is a three millimeter, it is a metric. I made sure I tried the standard. Uh, but nothing fit the standard and it was a three millimeter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the support brace to these left and right uh, leg bases. All right, so just find your left and right. Each uh, leg base has a R and an L. So figure out what's going to be your left and right and uh, stick with it because there's a couple of more pieces over here that have to go on your left and your right. So make sure you uh, you know your left and your right and which one goes which. So this is gonna be my right, this is gonna be my left. So we're gonna use four screws on each side, two on the top and two on the sides, one on either side, on both sides. So we're gonna go ahead and screw these in. They all use these Allen wrench uh, screws and they're all the same size it looks like and it should be a pretty uh, straightforward build so uh, let's get to it we're gonna go ahead and put four on this side and we'll come back when we do the right side or get to the right side
Boom. All right, we're done with the left. We're gonna do the same thing to the right. Okay, four screws, two on top and two on either side of the front and back. The great thing about having these ball points, these ball tips, is that you can kind of go at an angle and still get it screwed in. It's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty cool. Unlike a traditional one where you can't go at an angle, it'll just fall, it'll slip out. So cool, get the, uh, get the ball tip uh, hex wrenches. All right, we're gonna tighten this right one and get to the next step. All right, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna put the legs onto the leg bases. Uh, these are, these uh, parts are identical, the left and the right, so it doesn't matter which, which side these go on. It's the actual um, stand mounts or the printer support bars that uh, they actually matter the left and right. So, all right, right now we're gonna do uh, four screws on the bottom, two on the front, and one on either side, and we're gonna use four screws there. And then this actually has the instruction uh, when you put the support, uh, the printer support on top. Uh, you're going to use the the screw holders, and then the screws go into there and into the piece. So we'll go over that step in a second, but that's just basically basically what that's saying. It's pretty obvious. Pretty obvious that this part goes on the inside because uh, that's where the uh, the printer support bars are going to go. All right. So we're going to get these screws in on both sides and then we'll get to the next step. Alright, so this step right here is pretty crucial. Alright, so be careful. The net is already on this bar. Okay, so but what you need to do is we need to unwind this because we need to push in. You see those two holes right there? There's two holes on either side and there's two, screw, or two screws go on both sides, not these big old holes. But these small little screw holes, they go straight in and they get tied down into there. So what we need to do is make sure the left, the L sticker and the right, the R sticker is matching with the base, the leg base down here. There's an L and there's an R on this side. So I'm going to make sure I keep that orientation like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwind this. And I'm going to push this in just like that. Make sure that this net, this netting does, does not get caught under here, underneath here or else you're going to rip it and you're going to mess it up. Okay? Do not tighten all the way. Just kind of get the screws in there uh, to where they don't fall out and then come to the other side and, and do those screws. So um, I don't know if I can get a close up but I'll try and get a close up here. Uh, but it's not it's not difficult at all. So let's get a uh, four screws, two on each side. All right, and I can look straight down and I can already see uh, those holes where they line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those put that in there. Get my hex wrench and get it in there. Get the second one. And I feel like I feel like going screwing in there. Make sure this is free and clear. Now, once that's done, uh, you can probably go to the other side. We'll get two more screws. We'll pull the netting in, okay? And then drop the screws in there. Get your uh, hex wrench. Put this one in there, okay? That's why I said, that's why I was saying leave those on the other side a little loose that way you can kind of move this back and forth because the holes are probably off just a, just a hair. So uh, this net got caught under there but I, I got it free and um, we just tighten them up. The reason why you want to stay left or right is because it looks like there's a ground or something here. There's a plug and you will see the same plug. Um, underneath the uh, holder arm or whatever the support arm 
it also has one of these and you're gonna plug it in there so it has some kind of ground to it. Uh, at least that's what I'm saying. There's no, no instructions, but just by looking at it, that's what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna tighten these screws down and uh, we're almost done. So uh, we'll get to the next step right after this. All right, the next step is we're gonna put the mounting brackets. Again, this is a left and right situation. Um, as you see, there's this uh, the white plug here. It looks like a grounding plug. There's a white grounding plug on this side. Uh, there is an R on this uh, mounting bracket. There's an R right here on this sticker, which is the, the paper uh, net holder. And there is the R down here on the mounting base. All right, so on this, um, on this one here, we're just going to stick it like that. This is my left, this is my right, and so obviously this is going to be the front of the printer and this is going to be the back of the printer over here on this side. Alright, so we're going to use screw holders on this one, okay, and the screws go inside there and uh, create a channel that goes all the way through this piece. Alright, so basically it's going to go, you see it like this, and then you're going to stick them in there like that, and then stick the screw in there. And that should help it go all the way into this uh, the material holder. Alright, so that just snaps in. That just snaps in. You get one of the screws. And it goes all the way in. And I felt it catch. So we're going to just leave it there. Do the next one. Just rotate it until it goes into the slot. And just do it until you feel tension. And then let it go. Don't screw it all the way. That way you have some uh, leverage if you need any or some uh, give on the other side if, if you need it. So we're going to go ahead and do the other side and then we'll come back uh, and do the next step. Okay, before we go to the next step, um, I'm going to connect these because uh, they just look like they need to be connected. Okay, so we're going to connect these little this little white clip. If anything, it has a little disconnect plug so we can disconnect if we need to but I believe they go there I don't see any instructions where it doesn't connect so anyway we're going to get to the back of the printer we're going to get the rod all right so we're on the back side right now and we're going to uh, we're going to slide the rod through and then we're going to get one of these pieces here. We're going to slide this piece into here, into this loop. All right, so there's a loop that we're going to put that bar through, okay? Just like this, so that's how it's gonna look. All right, that way it has something to hold on to. And then we can actually snap it on right now if we wanted to. Actually, let's put it on this first. <laughs> We'll snap that in, snap that in, and we'll repeat it on the other side. We'll make sure to put this bar through this hoop or this loop, okay? Just like that. We have it through that, through that hoop. We're going to attach this here, and then we'll attach the leg at the bottom and just push down. So that way this, this holds like this, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to close this up, turn it around, and you have two more loops on the bottom, and you'll see little notches here on the other side of the stand, and those fit right inside those loops. There's one, so it goes just like that. That's how the stand looks. And then we'll get the stand. This is our left side. This is our right side. Make sure you get two people to put the stand on there. And then once you put the stand on there, if yours has thumb screws, there's one, there's two, three, and four. All right, so uh, once you have the printer on the stand, make sure you use two people because uh, it, it is kind of difficult just to do with one uh, you're more likely going to drop it so uh, use two people uh, the knobs that the um, 
that uh, should be included into these uh, or the support arms you should have um, some thumb screws that's what these are and if you don't you'll just have to use the screws that we've been using to put everything together so let's open that up and all you do is just find the little hole that is um, on the bottom of the printer and then screw it in and just tighten it until it stops there's no need to monkey grip it or crank it down uh, just do it until it stops and you should be good okay so um, that is it uh, hopefully this helped you if you got a printer stand for your Epson F570 die sublimation printer uh, and didn't get any instructions maybe it's online only like everything else nowadays uh, but yeah so uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video uh, let me know by giving it a thumbs up uh, subscribe it helps out a lot if you if you have a chance to uh, share leave a comment down below did you guys get one of these do you think it's worth it uh, we'll see so far I'm liking it and uh, we'll see how it goes with some long prints I'm uh, eager to use that basket uh, down there and, and see how well it actually works so hopefully having a good day printing uh, and until next time we'll talk to you later peace